go try some some heavier grit try and get some of these uh, rust pockets out here All right, that's um, roughly a hundred grit finish over the whole thing. This goes right up to 220. I do have 150. Let's see what the 220 does. The trouble is going with a, with a bigger grit, it leaves lots of scratches and you have to get the scratches out. Otherwise it shows at the end, if you're wondering. Alright, stepping up to 400. Okay, alright, this is 600. You'll notice. I've said on, on other videos of mine, when I go this way, the scratches are going in line with the fit in this way. If I go up and down this way, the scratches will be going this way. That makes it, I'll show you, it looks different. It looks like a scratch in the art, but it's not. It's this way I can actually see where the scratches are. Don't know if it's going to catch it, but right there is a line where the um, uh, the hardened metal starts. I can see, it and it's it's a lot harder to sand. All right, 800 grit, and I'm sure it's not looking a whole lot of difference because it still looks pretty scratched up. We'll just get it prepped ready for the buffer, basically. I mean, it's still got quite a good shine on it. You can see the reflection. This is nothing to what it's going to be like with the buffer. Alright, we're about to go to buffing. I've got a couple of things for you to post in the comments. Firstly, how many sanding discs do you think I went through? Pause it, count up, do what you need to do. I'm not going to tell you. Just have a guess and I'll tell you how. I'll count it up and I'll post probably in the community page later on. Also, another thing for your comment section. Why do you think my buffer looks like this? I say buff, it's actually a sander. Have a guess at that in the comment section too.
Right, just give a quick clean on this handle. The main reason I want to not even hardly touch the handle is because of this. It still has the Made in England stamp on there, and that's ink or paint or something, so I don't even want to touch that. So, I'm going to have a quick... In fact, I'm not even going to clean it. I'm going to put some of this on here. It'll brighten up the wood a little bit. And hopefully won't affect the... Uh, the little England thingy stamp. It's almost like feeding the wood. I mean, the handle itself is in remarkable condition. This is uh, from 1954, apparently. See, it will clean up a little tiny bit. If you know any history about this um, tool, go ahead and leave a comment. I've seen that it's a fireman's hatchet, military fireman's hatchet, and then someone I've read somewhere that it was given as a retirement gift, so I, I've got no clue. If you know more than I do, go ahead and post in the comments for me. And uh, well, we'll call that a good one. I'm going to let wait for this teak oil to dry off, wipe down the chrome again, or the chrome fit the gonna wait for the teak oil to dry, gonna wipe down this where it's gone to my polish and then I'm gonna set up the little studio thing like I do for thumbnails and we'll do some pictures for the end credits and that's it for another one so if you like this sort of thing axes and hammers and stuff like that tell me in the comments if you want to see more tool restorations tell me I've got tools and hatchets and axes and all sorts of things but uh Happy Thanksgiving everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.